It's a true wonderland. There you are, hmm? Jock. Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Dang it. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm -hmm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kitties at home. We met online. It's no nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> well, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew funny job. Yeah. I knew I would like you. C can I have a hug? Okay. Yeah. Uh, hug, yeah. Uh, okay. Come here. Uh, I've got a pr protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! John! Huh? You won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al Dinapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. Of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Not me! I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck, and we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is! Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me! Oh, to the chariot! Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away! Come on, Jock, get in! He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock! Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams. All those nights spent role-playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known. I loved him in The Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Al Di Napoli line. This is turban warfare, motherfucker. <laughs> it's uncanny. <laughs> oh, dear. Poor Jock must think we're batty. Oh, don't be silly. I... Oh, I won't! Jock! Do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith! Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. What on earth will we feed the man? I hadn't even thought of that. He probably eats sushi or quinoa. Is that even how you say it? What if he wants meth? Don't get flustered again, Nigel. He's going into the car park! The car park! No worries, mate! Oh, I hope he likes us! How could he not? This lockup you've prepared sounds charming! Just be yourself, Mrs. Thor- Oh, my giddy aunt! Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. Do you have to lower the tone? Glad to see you on the proper side of the road, dear boy. This must be second nature to you, Jock. All those stunts you used to do. This level of derangement, I'm impressed. Little by little, I'm tip... Is he going through the hospital? Oh, my lord! Hold on to your corsets! Oh, for hernia! Uh... Seems rude not to follow him through the window. Bloody hell! Find out! to escort your guest of honor to the trunk. Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you. Come on. Come on. Let me meet your biggest fan. Ah. No. Oh, you're fucking crazy. Oh, it's Get off me. Uh. You're good to go. Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting. 
nut jobs. Mark Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car stealing team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Bolito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. He over at the usual place. The boost, homie. How'd it go? Any problem? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me. Man, what you fuck with this ride for? So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one said, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Line it up on the carrier, homie. The final piece of the puzzle. The boss man's happy, then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust-ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Hey, it's, uh, cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah, scooch over here. Scooching in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. They ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I get comfortable. 
Alright, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit! It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool's sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruity. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck! Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that! And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that makes a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the black top making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend! Just fiendin' for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. And a part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tired with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off? Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in Harlem's. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, the sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real shame. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. Oh shit, what's happening? 
Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? All right, shit. I'll handle this. If you keep driving, I'll use the JB-700 to get rid of them. Man, Molly said there'd be some hardware on board. Shit, we'll see. Hey, take this headset. They must have waited till we was out of town. Yeah, it looks like it, don't it? You were transporting stolen cars. Pull back to the side of the road. <clears throat> It's Frank. Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm. We got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost them. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of. Head back to town. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in this situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? 
That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Man, that was just what I need. Sixty-nine! Seventy! Stop looking at my ass! I wasn't looking at your ass. I know. No one ever does. A little thin for my taste. But nice. What are you going for, a swim? What do you care? You think I got a fat ass and I only swim because I float easily? I was just making conversation. I'm doing a three-way. A what? A triathlon. Sounds like you got way too much time on your hands. F you! You like a stay-at-home cheerleader, do you? Pathetic. You know what? F you, bitch. I'll beat you. Come on. I promise. <laughs> I bet you like to beat women. I wonder why your ass is single. Perfect beach start! I got this locked in! Come on! Shit, you need a vacation or something, lady. Damn! 
Damn, that's cold! Don't be a baby! Mommy's not here! I'm your mama now! Focus! Focus! are you talking about? Scaling down training before a race. I bet you fucking tapered. You out of your fucking mind. The first I knew about this was seeing your skinny ass on the beach. I said you were checking me out. One down, two to go. Smash through the wall. Watch the damn road. You sure about that? Sex has changed since you last had it. Together. Push through the burn! Use it! Make it your bitch! I'm trying! Not you, idiot! Me! Hey, have you seen a dog anywhere? Yeah! It went down the beach, I think! You won! Aren't you gonna gloat? Look, we both survived. These things are about taking part, not winning, right? No, it is always about winning! All right, I gotta keep going, because I'm a loser. Fat, unmarried, career-driven loser! Hey, girl, you better chill the fuck out! Go to hell! Hey, I need a cab. On its way, sir. Thanks for calling. Thank you. Where do you want to go? Polito Bay. Right away, sir. Who's this guy? Who the hell are you? Get the fuck out of here. This ain't your problem. Yeah, who's in the grave now, bitch? Are you deaf? Get the... Shit, I'm a disgrace to society. Hello? Can you help me? Oh, thank God. I thought I was dead for sure. 
I didn't even know where the hell we are. You couldn't give me a ride, could you? Yeah, sure. Shit, I ain't gonna just leave you out here. This is a nightmare. I kept telling him it wasn't safe. I gotta make a call. Beppe, you need to come and get me. Yes, right now? I was just 10 seconds away from getting whacked. Meet me in Vinewood Hills. I gotta get out of here. Anywhere. Okay, I got a guy coming for me. Vinewood Hills. Jesus, this is so messed up. Thank you. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't come along. Yeah, I don't think they was digging that hole for fun. Those six sons of bitches. What was that all about? Just my dad, as usual. That was your dad? What? No. Yeah, I shouldn't really say, but what does it matter now? You're in the life, right? You can't handle yourself like you did and not be in the life. Have you heard of Sammy Bettino? Most people call him Sonny. No, why? The Gambetti family? Don't you watch the news? He was Don Gravelli's right-hand man. He more or less kind of ran the East Coast in the 80s and 90s. No? Well, that's my dad, father of the year. They tried to pin a murder charge on him in 2007, and we had to go into hiding. Move out west. One day you're living the good life, the next you're moving around safe houses in rat hole hick towns where no one comes looking. And your friends back there? Just the latest in a long line of people who want to get back at Sonny Bettino. Could be something he's trying to run from the inside, or someone else he squealed on. When he got pinched in 2011, he kind of copped a plea, gave up a lot of people. So he gets to sit in his five-star cell while I'm on the outside dealing with the consequences. My dad was many hey, things, but I never thought he'd be a snitch. <laughs> Whereas you seem like you don't let nothing slip. What's there to hide anymore? It's all out there. They even wanted me to do a reality show. Wise bitches. Daughters of mobsters, cat fighting, and broker. But of course he wouldn't let me. He's so protective. I've always been a daddy's girl. She could have fooled me. You wait until he hears about this. He'll flip his shit. Seriously. Everyone those two hicks ever talked to is gonna get hit. And what's your name, by the way? Franklin. Franklin what? And I ain't sure I wanna answer that. He's gonna wanna know who saved my life. Franklin Clint. You'll be made right for this. I promise. Yeah, yeah, if you say so.
That's my guy. Thank you again. I won't forget this. Don't become no murder case now, nigga. Ah, fuck it! I'm gonna fuck you! Hey, move! Shit! Hey, who this? It's Antonia Bettino. You know, the girl who nearly attended her own funeral out at Polito Bay? Oh, shit, how can I forget? My dad wanted to make sure you were looked after. Now, there's some money being wired to your account right now. Now, I gotta get off the line. Thank you again. <laughs>